guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am here to answer all of your questions about what is going on with the Good and the Beautiful math. If you're new to my channel, I've been using the Good and the Beautiful for quite a few years and sharing it with you guys here on YouTube because I love it so much. And recently, there's been a lot of questions surrounding their super duper sale and discontinuation of their math levels and what is going on and my inbox was flooded. So I decided to get on here once I got some factual information and share it with you guys. So today's video is going to be a little update and this video is brought to you in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful. So the first thing I want to mention is that although I have been blessed to work with The Good and the Beautiful for the last couple of years, I am not on the decision making team at the company unfortunately. Um, and so sometimes I do have a little bit of insider information on new releases and things that are, you know, on the docket that are coming, but sometimes I don't. And so when the, they announced that math K through three was 75% off and that they were going to be releasing an entirely new math program, um, a lot of you guys, like 300 of you were messaging me saying, what is going on? Why are they doing this? They just started this new math program. Um, I just bought this math program based on your review of it with Olivia. And why are they doing this? Is something wrong? Should I discontinue it? And the questions just flooded in continually again and again and again and again. So with this particular instance, I actually did not know uh, that that was a decision that had been made at the good and the beautiful and so it was just as much a surprise to me as it was to you guys uh, since that time I have had uh, conversations with um, people in charge over there and so I have factual information to share with you guys on what is going on with math? I think a lot of you guys were panicking and confused and I understand because I was a little bit myself. Um, but now that I have the whole picture, I'm able to understand and share that with you guys. So um, let's get started here. I took some notes with my um, phone call and that I had, or rather FaceTime uh, video conference thing that I had. And uh, what, what there is to know is that uh, the current math program, uh, although recent levels were just uh, released, um, is being discontinued. And once it is out of stock and sold, it will no longer be sold from the good and the beautiful. So that is the first thing to know. So you may see that they release uh, math for part two and possibly even math five. Um, of this uh, previous um, version of math, but they are going to be on sale and they are going to be clearing those out because they are no longer going to be selling that math program once they are sold. So all that to be said, is there anything wrong with that math, the math that I've been using with Olivia and the math that many of you guys have been using in your homeschools, is there something wrong with it? Why are they discontinuing it? Well, the answer to that question is first and foremost, no, there is nothing wrong with the curriculum. If you love that, um, love that style of math, you love the version, it's working well for you, there is nothing to be alarmed about. You can continue to use it. You can continue to teach your children with it. And um, if you really want to stock up for future years, if you really love it that much, then you probably should consider doing that because like I said, once it's out of stock, it will not be sold anymore by the them. So why, why, why after all of the work that goes into creating a math program, a curriculum, and it's all pretty recent, why are they changing it now? And the simple answer is that the good and the beautiful has a mission and a goal as a company, and that is to make homeschooling affordable and easy without losing any of the value or content. And um, Jenny Phillips, the creator of The Good and the Beautiful, uh, was 
continually hearing that with the math program there were too many um, pieces to it. It wasn't streamlined and simple. Uh, the lessons were taking a little bit longer than people wanted. Now this is a generalization. Of course, there's exceptions to, to uh, the rule, but she was just hearing that so much. So it caused her to kind of look into that a little bit further. And uh, she came to the conclusion that what people were saying was right. And she felt that the math program could be improved upon. It could be more streamlined it could be uh, done with less pages, um, less manipulatives, and most importantly, and I think one of the best things is that it could be more affordable for families like you guys and like us to afford. And so with all of that, there were a lot of uh, behind the scene conversations and different things that had to take place that I, um, you know, that I'm not uh, privy to share, but what what it boiled down to was that it was just going to have to be redone. So what they've done is create a team of amazing people, of math teachers, of editors, of um, curriculum creators and reviewers, of families who are piloting the new math program, and they are completely redoing the math program um, that the good and the beautiful will be releasing and it is going to be called simply good and beautiful math so that is a little bit of the backstory as to why they um, are just redoing it. Um, there's a lot of legalities and a lot of technicalities and a lot of contractual things that go into curriculum. And uh, so sometimes rather than just revising something, sometimes you do have to go completely back to the drawing board um, and start over. So. The new math curriculum is going to be sold for $49, you guys, $49, which is a, it's the most affordable um, math program that I have seen and the value is going to be great. I was lucky enough to take a peek at some of the um, completed lessons that some families are piloting and I right away could see that it is so much more streamlined. Um, everything is on just one or two pages. There are optional videos that are going to uh, go with every single math lesson. So so you don't have to use the video but if you want your child to watch the video you can do that and they are really really sweetly done so I can see the improvements I can see the streamline of what they were wanting to do and I can see how it fits more in line with the other curriculum pieces that the good and the beautiful has created things like science and history and language arts um, especially the revised editions they just really continue to be great. So um, that is basically what has been going on. And so now I have the information to share with you guys on what um, these are like commonly uh, commonly asked questions that I was getting uh, from you guys in my DMs on Instagram. And so I'm just going to start right here um, with with commonly asked questions regarding math. So um, <clears throat> the first one here is um, there will be a math level assessment found on the website that you guys can take or your children rather can take. However, I do want to calm a lot of your fears and this was one of my um, kind of questions that I had is if I was using the previous version of the good and the beautiful math, will my child transition into the level that they would have been going? So for example, Olivia is doing math three this year. I have both books of math three and I do not, I want to finish that um, math three and I'm going to because I like it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it for me that, you know, makes me want to just say no we're not doing that anymore so we are going to finish math three so I wanted to make sure next year will she be able to do math four and the answer to that is is yes 
So if your child was doing a previous level Math K, then next year with Simply Good and the Beautiful Math, they should be able to move into the new version of level one and so on and so forth. So there will be an assessment if you would like to double check. Um, the next question is, are the Good and the Beautiful still planning to release Math Level 6 through 8? The answer is yes. The new, the new math, which is going to be called Simply Good and, Be Simply Good and Beautiful Math, Levels 6 through 8 will be released um, in the summer of 2022. So this summer, spring to summer, they are releasing, because this was another question, all levels for Simply Good and the Beautiful um, Simply Good and Beautiful Math will be released from K through 5. So all of them will be at one time where previously it was taking about a year for the next level of math to um, be released and that was causing some stress for some parents and families. So they are going to be releasing K through 5 all at one time and the next year they will be releasing 6 through 8. Um, so I answered the question about the scope and the sequence. So just take that assessment, but you should probably have a seamless transition. Um, so um, they are, there's a lot of information here about piloting and um, different things like that. Um, they, one of the, uh, lar another large reason why they are changing was the manipulative boxes um, that came with the math levels were incredibly hard to stock, keep in stock, and they were very expensive. Um, so that was taking like the manpower of an entire warehouse and an entire team of employees just to stock math boxes. And so they really wanted to simplify that. And um, so there will be manipulatives but it'll be a lot less and it'll be something that's much easier for families to manage at home and for the good and the beautiful to manage moving forward. They were always out of stock and it was really frustrating for a lot of customers and they took notice of that and they wanted to improve that. Um, so they, um, the discount and clearance prices are only available for when they have been released. Uh, they are not doing any type of price adjusting or anything like that. And I know a lot of you guys were upset about that and I received some messages like I'm in charge of their sales, which I'm not, um, but um, they are such an amazing company. They are an honest and wonderful team. And um, I can say that the timing of the sales um, was not necessarily pre-planned and sometimes um, you know, decisions are made more quickly than anticipated. And so if you guys bought something at full price and then it went on sale, um, it was never intentional on their part. And so um, try not to be too upset about that. Um, now let's see, is there diversity in the courses? Um, the new math will feature more diversity than their original math courses. Um, the, then this question, my child loves the games, will they still have those? Yes, uh, they will be included right in the course book, so it won't be a separate thing that you have to manage, which I think is great, and there won't be as many of them. See, I have no problem with the current math that I'm using because if I don't wanna do the game or I don't have enough time, I don't worry about it, but some families really do stress out about not doing everything that is on the list, and so the new math will just have that there, but it won't be as often. Um, so the Simply Good and Beautiful Math course sets will be $49.99, including the manipulatives. So that is an incredible price. Um, let's see. Um, will the current math activity boxes be used with the new courses? No, they will not be used with the new courses. The new courses will have entirely new sets. Um, will the Good and the Beautiful offer the new courses in printed and PDF? Yes, however, the manipulative items are mainly made from wood and no longer made from chipboard paper or cardstock and they will not be offered in PDF. Um, the PDFs of the old math will be discontinued when they sell out of the physical course sets, so take note of that. And um, the, like I mentioned, the math K through five will be released 
um, one at a time from June to August of summer of 2021. So I'm assuming they're probably going to start with the lower levels and then the fifth grade will be um, released in August. Uh, the, and then the last question here is, will the new line be just as thorough and hands-on? So the new approach is academically thorough, but much more concise. It still uses all learning styles and is packed with beauty and meaning. Games and activities are still included, but in a less overwhelming and lengthy manner. Simply good and beautiful math has fewer manipulatives, but uses them in very effective and fun ways for hands-on learning. So I think that that really clears up a lot of the questions you guys were asking about the good and the beautiful math and what has been going on. Um, and I hope I was able to clarify some of that for you and give you a little bit of a background of to um, why and what and how this came to be. I, again, want to encourage you guys to just remember that The Good and the Beautiful is um, an amazing company that was started by somebody that never wanted to um, run a curriculum company and as you can imagine this year has been a year of tremendous and exponential growth and so um, they are releasing things and creating things um, as quickly and as best as they can and revising things as they can be improved upon. And um, I am just grateful that they are always looking for ways to make things better, more streamlined, more efficient, more wonderful, so that homeschooling can be done better and easier um, by many families around the world. So if you have any more questions regarding this new math and the hows and the whys, go ahead and post them down in the comments and I will reply back to you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you're thankful for this update. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well. And if you are looking for anything from The Good and the Beautiful, their website is always linked in my description box. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this video helps and I will see you all in my next one really soon. Bye guys.